917 right now, continuing our, we've cleaned out our ears, we can continue <laughs> our live coverage of the Warriors Parade. It's getting pretty loud out there as folks are getting more and more excited. We are, what, a little, well, about... It's pretty much two hours. About a couple hours now from parade time. We've got Crown Force Rob Nesbitt gauging the enthusiasm on the sides of the streets there of Market Street. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, James. Man, when you talk about enthusiasm, when I first got here at 5 a.m., there were some diehard fans in their seats that got here really, really early. But throughout the morning, it's been so cool to see the streets fill up. I was giving advice earlier that one side of the street's better than the other. Well, they're all full now. I'm at the corner of 4th and Market. It's basically the halfway point. We got a lot of fans behind me here who are excited, right? <laughs> and what I really appreciate is when you see these personal messages that fans will actually write on their signs. We have one here. This is Danielle. And Danielle, you're basically got this picture here from 2018 where you had Coach Kerr himself walk up to you and sign. What was that like? Uh, it was insane. I did not expect it at all. He actually saw me from like across the way, came over straight to me and said, you've been a fan for a long time, haven't you? I was like, my entire life. I can't <laughs> believe I'm talking to you right now. Um, and he's like, we win championships for fans like you. And I just thought that was I mean, one of the greatest moments I've, I've had in terms of, I mean, anything really. <laughs> So it happened in 2018. Now we're 2022. They did it again, right? The dynasty continues. So you were basically like, I need to get Coach Carr back again. Absolutely. So here we are. We're encouraging him. You got your marker, I hope, ready for him. I got, I got two. I got I backups. <laughs> I have no doubt that he's going to be here. For the folks at home, I've never been to one of these parades. You have before. Explain to me. It's exciting now, but what's it like when the team's actually in front of you with that gold ball? I don't know. It's it's something bigger than just basketball. It's community, and I think that's what Coach Kerr brings to the Warriors is it's a family, and, and everyone here feels a part of that family, so that's what it's like. So cool. Go Warriors. Thanks, Danielle. And when you go everywhere around this place, basically you're going to see a lot of fans, right, who are trying their best to be the loudest. This north side, they think they have it. <laughs> And one of the fans that I want to talk to here, we got, we got, this is Donya. Now, when you want to talk about distance, people are coming from all over. I talked to some folks from, came from Seattle. Donya, where did you come for this parade today? Um, I live and work in San Antonio now, and I knew they were going to win it. So, so San Antonio, yes. how long did it take you to get here? Um, I flew five hours on Thursday, and I, they wanted that. <laughs> yeah. So this is what parade? How many of these have you been My to? My fourth. I've never missed a parade, and I wasn't going to miss today. So fourth parade, guys, when you think about fans, they're committed. So explain to me, I was asking, this is a second parade for a girl across the way. For you, explain to the folks at home who have never been, what's the atmosphere like when the team is going by you with that gold ball? Oh, it's amazing. The energy is so great. You meet so many great people around you. Now, I want to do a little face-off here, guys. What I want to do is we're going to have this side yell as loud as you can. Okay, so on the three. One, two, three. Now, across the way. Now, this side of the street. I don't know, guys. It's a close call. I'm Basically, trying to decide. Any way that you look at it, oh. there are warrior fans on both <laughs> sides. And the true winner here... The Warriors. Everyone wins, right? So amazing. They're all cheering for the same team in the end. Absolutely. Yeah. How much fun is Look that? Look at the tattoos. See, now that's right. commitment. Right. Actually, put some ink on. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little babies too. Like yes. the baby across the street over there on that side. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And so, how are the streets filling up? We see it right there. But how about up and down where you are, Rob? Is there any spot left? Okay, go ahead, guys. I think you just said hey, something. I was just, oh, yeah. It's sold what out there. Say, James? I was just asking, like, I, right there, it's super crowded, but how is it further up and further behind you? Are there still any, is there any room left? Ugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Uh, no. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> 
I, I mean, I'm trying to level with you. What I'll show you, maybe your best bet is when you come yeah. over here, you can see where they have the street blocked off, yeah. right? So, you know, you've got spots on side streets where, like, the intersections are. Where you're not going to have as much of a front row seat. No. But if you get to a point where you're, you know, you can't see through the crowd, <laughs> you can maybe get to, like, you know, where the, the cross streets are. Yeah. Yes. And you'll still see the team, you know, yeah. so come out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, Rob. I mean, we talked about it. You had to be there early. These yes. people, you know, they've been there since uh, 5, 6 in the morning. Wow. And now it's coming down to it. we got two hours to go before that parade starts. Mm -hmm. But we have the special ceremony, and you've got a front seat view for that because it's only on TV, and that happens at 1020. Yeah, and uh, our special coverage kicks off at 10 o'clock in about 40 minutes from now. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more of the Crown 4 Morning News.